Hello and welcome back to Rich Kits. Uh, further update on the um, little 172nd Avro Lancaster uh, B Mark 1 3. Uh, I've got the um, bits I was waiting for through post decals and the uh, glazing masks. Um, big bummer on that, really. Blazing mask, the wrong one. Hazagawa, not the Rebel kit. So I need to send them back and get my refund on that. And the decals clearly state 172nd on the outside of the packet. In fact, they're 148th scale on the inside, so... They've got to go back and be refunded. Players are a bit scuppered on that, so I'm going to be using the kit decal, so I've decided to go with uh, WSJ. I think there's a ninth, ninth Squadron Lancaster. Uh, as you can see, I've been painting the Beastie. Um, it's got a green and a brown, done a little bit of modeling and highlighting as you can see across it is nothing major but enough to dull the wings down a bit canopy i've been hand painting because of the deck and it's a pain in the arse putting a brush to that so any crap that gets on the glazing what we do you let it dry and you get a cocktail stick and you start scraping off the dried paint that's on the glazing. Find that works well. Um, got an error here. The turret won't turn. <clears throat> I think where I've been spraying around it and not protecting the inside, uh, I think paint's got down in there, mixed in with glue and stuff, and it's dried, so... Can't get it to turn, so the guns are going to have to face that way. Uh, we've got guns on the back. Got paint and all the glazing on that. And then we've got white and black rudders of this particular aircraft. Deckles will be the next to go on. Once the glazing is finished. And the props. And... Uh, then she'll be done, so I've got to put her in the photo frame or the picture frame, so that'll be the last bit, excuse my arm being in the way uh, I'll see when I've got something to show you Bye for now. hello, welcome back ok, I've got a fair bit done um, we're close to finishing um, I'm a little bit Disappointed. Let me move this into the air. Uh, I've, I've done a bit of weathering, as you can see, engine weathering on the, on the top, as as they were fairly um, heavily engined over the top with the like a lean mixture or whatever. Um, these decals are crap. The kit decals are absolutely crap. There's not enough adhesive on them. You can see clearly all the silvering in this one. It is horrendous. And across here. And you can't quite it's just off a camera shot, but there's a lot of there's a lot of silvering through this one as well. It's the same with the main decals on the side. Silvering in there and I know you can't get rid of all of silvering, but used um uh, was it Microsol and Tamiya Mark fit on this? They're thin enough to take the shape that's underneath them, so that they're 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 applying themselves to all the you know panel lines and things like that in there. That's fine. It goes down well. They go down well as far as that's concerned. The thinness of them are nice. It's just no hardly. It's just no adhesive really on it. 
to settle it down. I mean, this is, this is, I oh know it's not gloss. This is smooth. I, I, you know, I sanded it down with 8,000 and then 12,000 uh, grit. Take all the ridges and bumps and stuff out, but. You know, there's obviously compound, and I know people say, well, you should use gloss. Fuck gloss. My aircraft, my mistakes. Anyway, by the by, it's, it's almost done. I've still got to paint up the canopy, finish the canopy glazing. I've got these bits to paint up on the sides, which is the radar and stuff. Uh, you know, I've got to paint those up, and then it should be just about ready. Um... The only other disappointing thing is, is the varnish I've used is starting to turn this white. Oh, come back. And there she is. My, uh, Mark 1-3 Lancaster 9 Squadron. That would probably be. And, uh, she's firmly affixed to the photo frame. I'll give you a still picture in a bit of uh, it hanging on the wall um, I'm kind of pleased how it turned out in the end but it's not it's not the best but it'll do for what I would do anyway so thanks for watching I appreciate all the new subscribers and appreciate all my old subscribers and catch you in the next one Bye for now.